seated in the presence of the Lord. Today, my message topic is enduring faith. Can we say together, enduring, enduring faith. faith. One more time, enduring, enduring faith. faith. Tell your neighbor, say, faith requires us to endure. Faith requires us to endure. Right, can we read together the scriptures that um, we put together for you on the screen? We will just do the Burmese version. Can I ask that you stand in the presence of the Lord? Can we read together from Genesis um, chapter 12, 1 to 9. <laughs> ตีปีเนตะกวาอมูตาจินปอกผอมยาเดกาถั่วปีเลงาปะละจั่นตอปีโตตวาลอ Tododarapia Abrandi, Topigo, Shoutoire, Shikin, Yet Mori, the Baby, no Yao Lee, Toka, Kana, Yoda Rodi, Topina Shida E, Tara Piadi, Abra Art and Shari, Ebigo, De, Mione, Anga, Baby, who may no mu e, Todo Tinshara Mudo, Tara Piapo, Toyana, Yippling O Dile E, Toyama, Dabian Yue, Bidalamio, a Shinai Shido, Down Do, Piang the Pit. And also Hebrew 11, um, 8 to 12. ပြားတခင်ခေါ်တော်မှုတော့အခါသူသည်ဘယ်ရက်သို့သွားသည်ကိုကိုယ်တိုင်းမသိဘယ်လေယုံကြည်ခြင်းအားဖြင့်နားထ
They say, let's create a name for ourselves. But God has picked up this old man, Abraham, and said, I will make your name great. Why do God do that? We talk about Abraham's want to build a city of God. God singled out Abraham to say, I will bless you. What is the reason? The reason is so that all the people of the earth will be blessed through him. All the people of the earth will be blessed through him will be the same reason why God created you and I. All the people surrounding us, our family, our community, our work colleague, God wants them to be blessed. That's the reason why God is blessing us. Now, do remember that since, uh, you know, um, Noah's flood, Noah's, God spoke to Noah directly to build an ark. God decided enough is enough is enough. I'm going to destroy all the humankind through flood. Except... Noah's and his family. Since God spoken to Noah until now, God spoke to Abraham 300 years. In between, God hasn't spoken anything directly. Uh, wow, isn't it scary? 300 years didn't hear from God. Alright? Okay. Now. Here, it says in John 4, 22, You Samaritans worship what you do not know. We worship what we do know. For salvation is from the Jews. Now the book of Genesis chapter 12 is not something to do with the Jews only, but also to do with you and I. Right. Someone has three points to share with you tonight. First point, can you say leave? Live courageously. Live courageously. Right. Taken from the verse 8 of Hebrews 11. Can we read together the English version? By faith, By faith Abraham, Abraham, when called to go to a place, he would later receive as his inheritance, obeyed and went, even though he did not know where he was going. Praise the Lord. Can you imagine this man, Abraham? Abraham God called Abraham to leave everything. Abraham I mean, he was already 75 years old. Abraham He is a well-established man. He has his familiarity in the place where God called him out. He has his family. He has his friend. His childhood friends. His his uh, hobby friend. Right. He has his business. He know how to make business very well during that time because Abraham was a very wealthy man. He has all his connections and he know how and he his associate. But God said you need to leave all those behind. Not only you need to leave the good thing behind, you also need to leave behind the not good thing. 75 years of Abraham's life, he has made enough mistakes also in that place. The childhood mistake, the youth mistake, the adult mistake. 
ไอ้ยวยจีล่ะเนี่ยเมียบ่เนาะงีแกอัปเดตได้ชื่อมั้ยลูกแกไปลูจีไอ้อัปเดตเนี่ยไม่รู้แล้วตูลุกแกไปพ
When they married, no choice because already have a baby, the parents say, okay, married. And after a few years, they cannot get along, so they want a divorce. So the wife went to be with the mother, and they are still very young, so this, my nephew, has to be with the daughter. Later on, the nephew come to Singapore and then work here. And he earned more, my, more money. And he always go back to try to please the, the, the so-called wife. Well, well, the rest of the family told him, say, don't worry, just divorce, just divorce. Now you have everything good. Get another wife. But the key is that he became a Christian in Singapore. So I met him in one of the Chinese New Year. He knows that I'm a pastor. So he comes next to me and he says, Auntie, what do you think of my life? I say, what I think is not important. What do you think God thinks? So you know the God's principle. So I need to encourage him to live on God's principle. And my family members say, you crazy. You don't know how to make calculations. I say, I no need to know how to make calculations. I just need to obey. We are called to leave the world, but we do. We are, oh, sorry. We are called to leave the worldliness, but not the world. Unless you and I decided make a decision, decision, live courageously of the old, you and I were never able to embrace the new. A blessed life requires to live courageously of the old. Of the old. Mm. Uh, our our life. Life. Now, say yes even though you and I do not know where God is going to bring us. Mm. That is the fragrance of verse 8. Mm. When, when, when I decided to respond to the call of God to serve as full-time minister, it wasn't an easy call at all. If you think after the call, oh, you're going to walk on the clouds, it's so nice, you know, oh, I'm answering in the call, nowhere close. But never nevertheless, I chose to obey. And now 10 years coming, I look back, I'm so glad that I have obeyed. Amen. Uh, Mm. This morning we have a uh, Sia Robin Cook. Mm. Morning service. service ma. I met him for the first time. In the church office, he was thanking me. I don't even know him, he was thanking me. He said, Thank you for serving our people. I say it's all God. He said, oh, you choose to obey. Oh, I tell you it's the other way around actually. I share this before. One day the Lord spoke to me, the Myanmar people are serving me. Because I need this community so I can live up to the purpose where God called me. God never say follow me is easy. 
But he promised, follow me, it's going to be satisfying. If you obey, if you obey, if you obey, it's going to be satisfying. One way to test whether you have lost your focus once you lose your focus, you're going to lose your destiny. So one way to test whether you lose your focus is to test how much worldliness you hold on to yourself. So step number one. Live courageously. Sometimes we do not have courage to live. Or oh, we only have half courage, so we live half and then the other half still there. Like who? Like the Israelites. <laughs> After they cross the Red Sea. They still, oh, oh, Egypt, wow, the steel is so hot and nice, you know, the potato is so sweet. So the question is, how much do you love the world? I cannot imagine somebody has such a patience, you know, to, to allow another person to paint the, the hand so detailed. I don't know how many hours to paint this. Even to 15 minutes is too long for me already. <laughs> Such a detail in your zoom in is so clear, not the details, no? this is real, no? <laughs> How much do we love the world? If Abraham loved the world, he will never obey God. Amen. Okay, point number one is live courageously. All right. Not only we need to live, we need to live courageously. Amen. Now, second point is walk. Say walk. Walk. Committedly. Committedly. Not anyhow walk. Not walk here, walk there. Not shopping, window shopping, walk. <laughs> shopping, window shopping, This walk is not a walk where you can put on your high heel and then la la pa pa walk. This walk require you to put on your most comfortable shoe and walk committedly. Because you wear the high heel too high, you keep on worried about your high heel will be scratched. Right, you got no time. You need to be committed. Walk committedly. Now, the verse taken from verse 9. Can we read together? By faith, he made his home in the promised land like a stranger in a foreign country. He lived in tents as did Isaac and Jacob who were heirs with him of the same promise. <laughs> Abraham was called to leave the pagan country. Remember we talked about the east and the east on the last week when we talked about the east side is the pagan. <laughs> Do you know where's Abraham now? He is living in the promised land. But he is living in the promised land as a stranger and a foreigner. Right? 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 Abraham himself is treating himself as a stranger and as a foreigner. Abraham is treating himself as a stranger and as a foreigner. 
When Abraham was in the eastern country, the homeland, so comfortable, so rich, so wealthy, so full of status, God said, that's not for you, out. Without delay, he obeyed. Without where he should go, he obeyed. He just know who is going with him. When Abraham was in the promised land, he didn't live in the palace, he lived in the tent. And he lived as a stranger and he lived as a foreigner. How many of us foreigners here in this land? Right, I was also originally a foreigner, by the way. And then Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, you know, three generations live as a stranger, live as a foreigner in the tent. Abraham, Isaac, Jacob. He lived in the promised land, but yet this land is not yet his promised land. God can call you and I into a promise, and we are in the midst of the promise, but not yet the promise. And you know why? Because God will always do two things when he calls us into a promise, into a blessing. I will bless you. I will bless you. Let's call this blessing miracle. Okay, here is the miracle. God is preparing the miracle for you. So you have to wait. Something is working on the miracle God promised and God is preparing for you. You and I have to wait. But this is a half of the coin, don't it? That's the other half of the coin. The other half of the coin is while God is preparing the promise for you, God is also preparing you for the promise. He needs to get you and I ready for the promise, or else when the promise enters our hand, we will drop it. And God always has his own way to prepare you and I for the promise. Because he has to be intentional. Living in this world is like a play school, you know, a play school for you to play and to practice so that one day when we go to heaven, now we will know so here is the miracle here is the blessing here is the promise we are all circling around God is preparing the promise for me and God is also preparing me for the promise this is a photo I put up together for you Annika this is Annika when she was younger. Annika is uh, six and a half now. Seven and a half, I think. I lost <laughs> count. Right. Okay. This is the area where the mother created for her when she was young. In order to discover and train her creativity, the first photo on the top there is in the bathroom. So the mother would put up paper, put up paint. Okay, you mess up whatever you want. After all, it's the bathroom. Or outside of the house. Or the mother created this little corner called Anika Delights Corner. And actually, is the when she was much younger, toddler, you know, they have this 
sleeping area that fence up what what do you call that uh, for her to sleep inside when she sleep inside it's like that right so the baby can sleep inside right mm. now th- when the mother want her to play the mother turned it this way oh? <laughs> whatever thing you know the mother buy something in the box or tissue paper box and uh, this is yours your toy by those washable paint she can paint outside the house paint the bathroom after that the mother just spray water she liked to play with toilet papers or tish, uh, kitchen towels. Yeah, toilet paper, tissue, the kitchen paper, and then do because I don't enjoy it. So the, she saw the mother do, and she also want to do. I mean, I do who love it, and I don't love it, so I do the light load it. So the mother buy a one row two dollars, and then let her play lah. <laughs> so uh, the, the label no, not just be a the lego, be sorry do. Letting her play like that is very safe. She messed up everything inside here. The mother discovered her creativity. Discover what she like and what she don't like, what she gifted, what she not. Very minimum calculated risk. When she walk out, just spray, 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 clean, 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 bring outside and sun, that's all. And the girl didn't say, huh, this is not real. Mommy, I want to paint the house wall. I don't want to paint the, the wall in the bathroom. Mommy, you do that to me every week. I paint, paint, paint. You spray, spray, spray. I paint, paint, paint. You spray, spray, spray. I don't like it. She didn't say that. Why? She trusts her mother. She knows the mother will help to bring out the best of her. She doesn't mind just play play here in the corner and the play play there. She doesn't mind all the cardboard, la, tissue paper box, la, whatever box. La. The mother collect all the box, she make a train, you know, a train like that, and she play by herself, pulling the train all over the house, the kitchen, to the garden. She never say, Mommy, you give me all the cheap toy. She trusts that whatever the mother gives to her is the best. What about you and I? To take the applications. God prepared the promise for me. God also prepared me for the promise. But I said, Lord, you so late already. Lord, again, you know, I, you should have answered my prayer last year. In everything, there is a time and a season. This is today, Annika. <laughs> now she has grown up much more. Tonight, she invited two of her friends, her girlfriends, to come and sleep over in the house. Actually, this is the video, but I don't think it can be seen. Mm. <coughs> oh, I can see it. <coughs> the mother yeah, prepared yeah, the place wait, in her wait. room. <laughs> How many tents are there, Annika? Annika, one tent, two tents, three tents. She's inviting two of her friends to come to the house to sleep over. Right. And the mother took time to prepare for her friends to come. The mother, <coughs> after last year Christmas, after the Christmas, the lighting got sales. 
Pigere Christmas Pire Kama di Bono Mi Lonely Z Chare. Twenty dollars by the light, no? Now, you know, after the Christmas, haven't used yet. Now her friend comes to decorate the room for her. Christmas, we were So excited because her friend is coming to sleep over tonight. She simply trusts the mother to help bring out the best of her. Look back to Abraham. Walk committedly, the Lord said. Abraham Abraham At 75 years old, Abraham's character need a major adjustment. Come on, he betrayed his wife in the land of Egypt for the sheep and goats, you know? Mamila to Egypt Male betray he said, Shh, tell Pharaoh, you are my sister, you are not my wife. You know what does it mean? It means that Pharaoh can sleep with the wife. Wow, what do you think the Egyptian think of Abraham? Who is he? <laughs> He agreed to his wife Sarah to commit adultery with the mate. Abraham has a lying and a cheating character and personality. Abraham Right. I will not allow Annika to have free hand in the house until she learned how to handle the little corner. Uh, God promised Abraham, you're going to have a son. You're going to have a son. The son is Isaac. That's the promise. But he didn't get the son until 25 years later. He keeps suckering, suckering, suckering on that. We need to pray, Lord, can you cut short our circle? Right, amen. <laughs> so the God doesn't want us to have the miracles and quickly forget about him. He need to train and to coach our gratitude and our faithfulness. God always want to mold and shape us, but we are the one who always not available. A lot of WhatsApp status put there, can't talk, text only. <laughs> So we always tell God our status, you know. Lord, watch, uh, now I'm in what status, you know. God, you better be sensitive when you want to talk to me. Right? Amen. 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 So Lord, please talk to me tomorrow when I'm fresh. And enduring faith requires us to walk committedly, not just anyhow, anywhere walk. Number one, live courageously. Number two, walk Commitly. Number three, look confidently. Amen. Right. Taken from verse 10. For he was looking forward to the city, <laughs> to the city with, with foundations, foundations whose architect and builder is God. Wow. Amen. Abraham left the world that has chosen to leave God behind. Abraham God called you up from a place. This place he has got everything, but this place has left God. 
So he has the courage to leave the world that has chosen to leave God. What about you and I? And most importantly here in this verse. In verse 9 you can see he stayed liquid. He stayed as a stranger. He stayed as a foreigner. Meaning, he is waiting for God to change him anytime. My brothers and sisters, God is unchanging and unchangeable. Amen. Can we say together, God is unchanging? God is unchanging. And he is unchangeable. And he is unchangeable. God is unchanging. God is unchanging. He is unchangeable. He is unchangeable. Excuse me. If God is unchanging and in- unchangeable, then guess who need to change? Who need to change? Come on, can we lift up our hand? Who need to change? Me. Say me. I need to change. I need to change. God is preparing the promise for me, and God is also preparing me for the promise. Amen. Right? 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 Abraham Amen. waited for 25 years. Amen. Abraham, I think God did not do it. Now, our 178 Pile Labour Level 4 neighbors often talk to me like this. 178 Pile Labour Machine, Dibono, any Jenny, I say, I'm Whenever he sees the contractor walk in and out of our place, he will say, You are doing renovation again. Yeah, they contracted it. Twelve hours later, I do it. So, how can you be a millionaire? We always do electrical, la, the lighting, la, the speakers, la, the this and that. La, you know, always in, at, in, at here, delete here. He said, why are you doing always doing renovation? And one neighbor said, in your own unit, not enough, you renovate until outside toilet. <laughs> so I said, no choice, because we only have one unit, one ICO. <laughs> so when the church grow deeper, wider, we need to modify to adjust. God is unchanging, unchangeable, but we, you and I need to change. So we need to adjust ourselves to accommodate, right? Yes. Now Abraham doesn't go to a place and then become part of the place. Mm. Become like a stone, mm. like Lot. Mm. Abraham's nephew Lot at Sodom and Gomorrah, like a judge sitting at the city square. He is like a big stone. Mm. Abraham is a liquid. He lives in tent. Anytime the pillar of cloud by day, the pillar of fire by night, you know, whenever God says move, he can tap out and then he move. Abraham is a liquid. Some of the NRCC family when Selma talk to them, um, your your place got cabinet and things like that, so don't have everything put in the luggage bag. Ready to move. <laughs> Abraham stays liquid. You know why he can stay liquid. My brothers and sisters, you know why you and I can stay liquid and not being sucked up by the world. You and I should call to influence the world, not the world influence us. Abraham can stay liquid because he fixed his eyes he he know where he was looking at. 
Looking confidently, looking forward, he said, to the city with foundation, whose architect and builder is God. <laughs> he fixed his eyes on heaven. Amen. That's why he can live on earth confidently. My brothers and sisters, where does Abraham get his wisdom from? From looking at heaven. Abraham knows that this of Mabideu. This is only a little bit of the eternity. You and I living on earth, we have to fix our eyes in heaven. But a lot of Christians say, Oh, heaven are too far away, I'm still young. I'm not asking you to go to heaven. Right, this Abraham was 75 years old. He hasn't go to heaven yet. A long time. Isaac hasn't, hasn't come yet. After he, after he go Isaac, he need to sacrifice Isaac, remember? Right. So, but he fixed his eyes in heaven so that he can be liquid on earth. You know, many of us have become stone on earth. Meaning, you do what other people do, or this is what other people always do, so I need to do the same law. Other people from Myanmar come to Singapore work is like this, like this, like this, like this. So I also do like this, like this, like this, like this. I am a stunt. When we lose the heaven perspective, we lose the earth directions. Sama, I don't know whether I choose should choose apple or orange. Then you should fix your eyes in heaven. Once you fix it in heaven, then, then the Lord will speak to you. Abraham built an altar in Genesis 12 and 13. No, we're not, not going to read through already, but someone just put the scripture for you. He built altar wherever he go. He put God first. <coughs> and you know what, my brothers and sisters, Abraham doesn't go to church. Everywhere he go, he built church. Sorry? Everywhere he go, he built church. Abraham doesn't go to church to meet God. Abraham bring God everywhere. Amen. Christian go to church. After church, they leave church. They leave God in the church. They go outside of the world without God. You live like a stone. Like Lot. Lot. So comfortable. Excuse me, too comfortable. Sodom Gomorrah. Amen. Better be careful. What do you want? Going to leave God in the church? Or you want to you want to bring God everywhere? If you want to bring God everywhere, you cannot leave worldliness. And during faith, like our father Abraham, is the faith that live courageously, walk committedly, look confidently. Abraham is a spiritual firstborn. 
Abraham is the father of the Jewish nation. He is also the father, the firstborn for the salvation. Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, Joseph, Moses, Joshua, all this, you know, on and on and on and on. Abraham, I, uh, Isaac, God called Abraham, I will bless you with the only reason that you will be a blessing all the way down. Abraham My brothers and sisters, I am the biological first bond of both sides of my family. My father is the eldest son. He has got 14 other siblings. My mom is the eldest daughter who has got other eight siblings. That you imagine how many cousins I have, first cousins. Can form a church bigger than NLCC. So both sides, firstborn, firstborn married to have me. I'm the eldest granddaughter among both the family. Biologically, I was the firstborn. Even though not a boy, Chinese only looking for the boy. No? But spiritually, I'm the firstborn. Even though I'm not the first among the family who became a Christian, mm. but I'm a firstborn on both sides of my family. Mm. God called me to leave my little town called Batu Pahat in Malaysia. Mm. Came to Singapore. Singapore so tough when I first came to Singapore. I have to work in the daytime and study at night, three to four times a week. At the time, my, my workplace is at Boon Lay, my class is at City Hall. My work finish at six o'clock, my class start at seven o'clock. I need to jump into a company bus and then they drop me at City Hall. My class ends at 10 o'clock. I finished that two years in Singapore. God called me to UK. I found Christ there. Throughout the process of staying in Singapore for so many years, I shifted so many houses. I lost count. 20 over houses. <laughs> a lot of experience that I have about house renovations, I accumulated over all these experts moving. Right. I went to UK to study. I found Christ. I came back here. It's a long journey. But in all this journey, my families are watching at me. They watch at me. How am I different? We only meet in these three occasions in my family back home. Chinese New Year. Wedding. Funeral. And most of the time, the most punctual one is funeral because wedding, most of it, I didn't go. Um, Funeral, I make an effort to go. To go. It's a best summary whenever you meet at the funeral. It's the best. People, everything let down with it. It's more ready to listen on the funeral. That's why I like to go to funeral if I can. And Chinese funeral don't go to the time where they have all the show. You know, don't go for the show. Go to the afternoon time when no show, nobody visit. They are just alone there. Oh, that's the best time to just do three person to talk. 
Chinese, you change your letter. Yang show off in the table, no, Louis Yam Yarit and Matora County. The Yeni Vile, Lunia, the Ola Bashi, Emma, do it as a happy or a boat simply. That's how an opportunity for me to share my enduring faith. Any chinema, Samaya, the two Jokurai, John Duke, the young Chimono, Ayahu, your Piabo, Queen Yaya. Mainly at the summary of these three points live courageously, walk committedly, look confidently. A nature what you don't chap today. Otherwise, I have no hope. So I did And I believe so for my brothers and sisters. Each and every one of you here. The same blessing that God chose to bless Abraham, I will bless you so that you can be a blessing. Abraham will God also called me to bless me so that I return to be a blessing. You do not need to be physically there. You still can reach out to them. Nowadays, the world are so small. On the Mother's Day, um, Annika texts me a text to say, Auntie Hui, thank you so much for being my spiritual mummy. Annika, the Miki Miane, Siamal de Lopore, to be a winning Miki, she said, Yeah, Jesus did as a road. Really saucy, no? She will say, I got two mummy, one the mummy who gave birth to me, one my spiritual mummy. <laughs> but I disciple her. Not difficult. I say, wow, you invite your friends to Australia. When are you going to invite Auntie Hui? He said, please come anytime. I have many questions to ask you. She said. <laughs> I say you can text me with the WhatsApp anytime, any questions, I will try to answer. She said, yes, thank you, Auntie Hui, I will. And she said, here come my first question. Auntie Hui, would you teach me how I can learn to pray in tongues? Wow. First of all, I say you can't learn is a gift. Mm. So I explained a few things. The mother says she listen, play back, listen, play back, listen, play back, you know. Now she's too busy because she got gas at home. <laughs> she busy bring out all her toys and keep back her toys, you know. <laughs> Does she, I can disciple her online. I have no time to speak to her. I only speak to her like once in two weeks or so. Well, I wait for the train where I walk on the road, I just WhatsApp the message, I just let go. voice message my brothers and sisters, God calls us to be a blessing. Amen. With the blessing that God called Abraham. Abraham will call Verse 2, he said, I will make you into a great nation and I will bless you. I will make your name great and you will be a blessing. I will bless those who bless you and whoever curses you, I will curse. And all peoples on earth will be blessed through you. Abraham is the firstborn, so am I the firstborn. Abraham Whether or not you are biological firstborn, a lot of you become born again here in Singapore. You and I carry on our shoulder a responsibility mm. of our entire kampong. Yes. They were not like your God unless they liked your life. My brothers and sisters not yet embrace everything that I do, but they know that I am 
different. อ่ะกองลงกูลงได้อย่างเดียวอารมณ์ตัวตัวตัวตัวตัวตัวตัวตัวตัวตัวตัวตัวตัวตัวตัวตัวตัวตัวตัวตัวตัวตัวตัวต